Okay, I'm not only research how the African diaspora can get their Sierra Leone citizenship, I found a hack that you can get citizenship to 14 other African countries as well. Yes! Why people are not selling this information, I have no idea. Because I'd buy it. If you're like me, you're wondering, how can I get Sierra Leone citizenship via descent? And how can I get it now? If so, watch this quick clip from African Ancestry about last year's trip, and right after we'll dive into the details. This is a dream come true for people of African descent, and so it's just an honor to be able to come here, to be able to meet the people of Sierra Leone, the Mende, the Temini, the Limba. These are all groups that our people come from. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. My name is Roy Calhoun. I'm a musician, artist from New York City. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, my father's side of the family is 100% Sierra Leone. So for me, it's a super honor to be here and experience this, this moment. Uh, I already text my family when the plane hit the ground, and I'm looking forward to spreading the news to all of my friends and family back in the States. My name is Chazelle Mohammed Nia. And what it means to me to be here is everything. I'm here for my female ancestor who left this country centuries ago and probably never returned. I return for her today. Africa, Africa, Africa. via descent actually means all the steps including who's eligible and I'll list the companies that I suggest you go through to get your citizenship how soon you can get your citizenship and everything else I research on this topic this is part of my Africa travel research series and it is not sponsored so you know what to do I'm a new channel so please like comment and subscribe so the YouTube algorithm will allow more people to see this information Share it as well if you can. Make sure you stay till to the end so I can give you my DNA test recommendations, especially which company I suggest black people do not use. And like I mentioned, a hack, which I'll show you. I'm gonna teach you the hack of all hacks. Everyone in the African diaspora should tune in, even if they do not have Sierra Leone descent, because hopefully this will be applicable in every African country soon. First, what does citizenship via descent or citizenship via ancestry really mean? And who's eligible? The literal definition of citizenship by descent is a means whereby an individual is eligible to claim citizenship if his, her parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, etc. hail from a given country. The person who is applying for citizenship by descent will have to provide proof of his or her bloodline to the government to qualify. Most of y'all do not need to be reminded about our grisly past. You do not need to be reminded that a lot of us in the African diaspora have a unique situation compared to other countries of why our ancestors left their countries. The transatlantic slave trade interrupted some of our ancestral history. I say some because some black and melanated people were in other countries or traveled to other countries or left Africa willingly. Sometimes we tend to group all of us with the same past history, which is just not accurate. Because of this unique situation, Sierra Leone has extended automatic citizenship to those who have Sierra Leone ancestry. Well, kinda automatic, there's a checklist, but we'll go over that in a little bit. By simply taking an accredited DNA test and Sierra Leone comes up as one of your results, you can then qualify for the prestigious honor that Sierra Leone has bestowed upon you and granted citizenship. There are a few countries like Ghana that offer this as well, but from my research, Ghana takes a lot longer to get through. 
My inside sources say there's a long waiting list for Ghana. Before we go into the steps, I wanted to let you know the date is coming up, y'all. For 2021, the date is November 20th. November 20th. So anyone that needs like urgent details, just in the comments, put your email and I'll send you everything that I know. Um, I'm also going to give you the companies to contact that will take care of you through this whole process. And anyone that can't make this November 20th date, next year is going to be April 2022. So you can start preparing from now, like me. After the ceremony, citizenship is granted immediately. And yes, you can have dual citizenship with America. You just have to check with your country to see if they offer dual citizenship. When it comes to which DNA test company to use, I'll do a whole different video on like the details about that and how to do that process. But for right now, the one company I do not recommend is 23andMe. Listen to me, black people. Do not use 23andMe. We'll go over that another time. Um, I definitely do recommend you using African Ancestry. I'll put the price on the screen of how much their test is. They do either a test for your maternal line, which is your mother's 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 mother, or a paternal line, which is your father's 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 father. Either one is eligible for the Sierra Leone citizenship. I ended up doing my test through Ancestry DNA. They offer a test that gives you both the maternal and paternal line. Why it makes sense to go through this process? Well. First, have you guys ever lived in a predominantly black country? Because if you haven't, sometimes we don't even realize the necessity to live in a place where you're not being judged or harmed strictly by the color of your skin. And we know far too many places on this earth where that's just not a reality. Even if you feel like you don't need it, like there's something that just empowers you and a whole different type of self-love when you just see a full country of black excellence around you. So even if you don't plan on moving to, to Sierra Leone full time, I highly recommend you still get your citizenship. Just having that power to be able to go back if you needed to, priceless. Have you been to Ceylon? Well, even if you have or even if you haven't, check out this quick clip of the beautiful country and then we'll get right into the checklist. Okay, checklist time. It's easier for me to just slap it right here up on the screen and then I can just read you some of the main points. The number one thing is Sierra Leone mandates that you go through a certified travel agency in order to go through this process. They have a lot of different options on their official website, which is right here, but I'm just gonna make it simple for you. I did all the research so you guys don't have to. I contacted 90% of all these companies and half of them came back return to sender and half of them never responded to me. Everyone except my favorite, BSL Travel. Oh my God, y'all, they're the best. Great customer service, they're amazing. This is not paid, so you can trust me. Even if it was paid, you could trust me. It just is what it is. I've done the research. A super close second is African Ancestry, also is certified and you can go through them. The only reason why I think I chose BSL Travel over African Ancestry is because I'm cheap or frugal, or however you want to say it. <laughs> so African Ancestry, their whole package trip is about $5,000 for this experience. Um, that includes all your passport and, and those information. It also includes a flight from Washington, D.C. to Freetown. It will now, now that I think about it, you know, $5,000 is, is really not expensive at all because it's about a two-week trip and it includes accommodations and food and events. I'm tripping. That's not a lot. 
but VSL travel is about 3000 for the same package, but they do not include a flight. So they do include accommodations, food, events. Um, they also have an option if you have your own accommodations or want to source your own accommodations. With VSL travel, you can do it, I think, believe it's around a $2,000 package that doesn't include accommodations, but it includes accommodations for one night trip to Banana Islands. So I'm going to put their information on the screen so you can just talk to them and work out all the details. I also think that I would go with VSL travel just because they are literally based in Freetown, Sierra Leone, so I always go local when I can. So two, you'll have to provide the metadata page of your current um, passport. You'll need a couple notarized references. Um, if you don't know how to do that process, you can just hit me in the comments and I can help walk you through it. But it's pretty simple nowadays. Most places in the US, if you just go to UPS, they have a notary right there, so you can pay a small fee. And as long as you have your proper government IDs, they can notarize your documents and your references. If you end up getting your citizenship, please, please hit me up and send me your videos, your pictures. I'll post it and we can all celebrate together. Okay, here's the tip of all tips. The hacks of all hacks. It's a gem. It's a Sierra Leone diamond, <laughs> which is not a blood diamond, by the way. We'll, we'll have a different video about all that BS. I hope you stayed to this point because I literally, when I figured this out, I screamed out loud. Have you guys ever heard of ECOWAS? E-C-O-W-A-S, I believe it stands for Economic Community of West African States. Well, if you have or if you haven't, the hack is if you have citizenship to one of the 15 countries that are part of ECOWAS, you can work, travel freely through all the other 15 countries. Yes, there's even an ECOWAS passport. So if you're a Sierra Leone citizenship, and you apply for your ECOWAS passport, let me list out the countries that you ha now have citizenship. Burkina Faso, Mali, Nigeria, Niger, Guinea-Bissau, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Benin, Togo, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Cabo Verde, Senegal, Gambia, Liberia. People, you know when you have a BOGO sale, buy one, get one free, and you get super excited? You are getting 14 countries basically for free. I know. Pat myself on the back for that one. I was hoping to keep this whole thing short and sweet, so any other information you need to know, just hit me in the comments and I'll get right back to you. Or just hit up VSL Travel and African Ancestry. Also, a big shout out and thank you to African Ancestry because sources say that they're in talks with 30 other countries to get this citizenship via descent passed. And I want to give a big cheers and a thank you to Sierra Leone for welcoming the African diaspora with open arms. I know this is a heavily debated topic and a lot of Africans feel that Africans in the diaspora shouldn't get special treatment when it becomes a citizenship, but yeah, you're wrong, okay? If my ancestors had left freely, then okay, you have an argument. But if they didn't, then yeah, we need to be um, able to get citizenship without jumping through hoops. Anywho, let me know if you want to know any other topics for me to discuss. If you want to know more about the Ghanaian citizenship, I'll do a video. Just let me know. But bye, y'all.